Hey everyone, today we are going to create a strong welcome series automated flow that many big e-commerce brands use. We'll set up the structure in Klaviyo, I'll guide you through the process step by step, then we'll add the email to Klaviyo and complete our welcome flow. The welcome flow is one of the highest performing and most crucial setups you need for your store. It's the first point of contact that you have with your visitors who land on your website and sign up through your pop-up. By the way, I've made a video on how to design and set up a welcome pop-up on your website, which you can check here. Okay, let's go back to the topic of this video. The welcome series acts as an initial push towards a sale for someone who just discovered your brand. As you might have noticed, most e-commerce stores offer some form of value in their pop-ups, such as 10% coupon code, a free ebook, or free shipping. These rewards are what you can offer to new visitors on your website to warmly welcome them and encourage their first purchase. The welcome series is triggered when someone signs up through the pop-up. It's automated and once set up, you don't need to do anything else except improve Improving and test different offers, subject lines, preview lines, and etc. The basic structure of the welcome flow consists of at least three emails. We start with email one, where we welcome the new subscriber and deliver the promised value from the pop-up immediately. We keep this email short and straight to the point since it's sent right after the sign-up and we aim to simplify the buyer's journey. So we include the discount code and a straightforward call to action button. Email Q should be sent at least one day after the sign up. In this email, we usually provide more information about the brand, start building the relationship and add trust. We might include testimonials or address any potential concerns the buyer might have. It's also crucial to mention shipping and handling time so recipients know when to expect their orders. It's helpful to remind them of the discount or value offered in the pop-up and in the first email. Now, what to include in email 3? This is the best place to leverage FOMO or the fear of missing out. This means you can indicate it's their last chance to use the offer discount or value because it will soon expire. You can set dynamic codes through Klaviyo that are unique for each person and expires after three days. You can be more salesy in this email and don't forget to include additional social proof. Okay, now that you understand the structure and the idea behind the welcome flow, let's go ahead and quickly design email one from the series and set up the flow in Klaviyo. Okay, so we are in Figma now and let's quickly redesign this email that we have uh, here and I'll show you how to implement it in Klaviyo and set the Klaviyo structure for the welcome series. So as you know uh, from our previous videos, we every time want to start with a frame when we want to, to start designing an email, then we want to get the, the dimensions correct of the frame. We usually do this in 1000 pixels and the uh, length of the email, it really depends on uh, how much information and sections you want to put in, but this can be changed at any time. Okay, let's start designing the email. So as always, we are starting with the logo. So let's put the logo here. It is white, but let me uh, just center it really quick. And now we want to place the header image. It's with a square, so let's make the square like this and then push these like this so we can get the round of view and resize. Perfect, so now we have to select the square or the rectangular, then we go to come here, upload, and let's upload the image. So uh, the logo now disappeared, but don't worry about this. We just have to move it over the actual header image and uh, the layers will come in place. So now we have slightly blurred view here because we want to make the text pop. So let's just duplicate this like this. So I'm, I just selected the, the rectangular and then copy pasted it. And now let's choose a color for that. It will be black and now let's make the opacity to 20% for example. Yep, looks great. So now we want to add uh, the header image, the subheader 
uh, the, the, the header text, sorry, the subheader text and the call to action. This is the above the fold section. So this is really important because everyone will see this when they open the email and you want to give them information what the email is about and uh, a clear call to action button. So let's select text and start typing. Okay, now you have the text. Let's check what the font is. International Pro, okay, great. So it's bold and let's change it. Let me just quickly check. So it's 60, perfect. And let's align it like this. Let's center. And now we want some more space between but it looks a little bit off yeah i can see that we have a stroke and it's white and that's why it looks different okay perfect so let's position it and copy paste let's move that below and type the subheader great so now we want to create the button so let's use the rectangular draw the button let's change the color to white and copy paste the text change the color let's move the let's move the button here so we can pop the text and edit the text okay perfect so now we have uh, our above the fold section it is ready the the header image the header image text subheader and the call to action plus the logo let's continue so uh i'm going to just copy paste this since it's just a plain text and you already know how to do it how to do it it's really great because once you have one of your emails ready in figma you'll be able to copy and paste elements from the other emails and you won't need to design these from scratch which will uh, ease the process of course so now we have an image of three bags let's grab the image let's place it here and center it great so now we have another section where we mentioned uh, the discount code so let's create it really quick again we want to get the rectangular position it it will be a center now let's choose the actual image for the background I think it's that one yep now let's create another one on top of it let's round it you can check how much you round the corners from here appearance so you can match the inner rectangular let's make it a little bit smaller let's change the color it will be white and let's just copy and paste the text perfect so again we have just a simple text and a button i'll show you how you can actually copy and paste the button that you already created above so it is right here you just need to first select the text and then select the button as you can see here on the layers, the rectangular is the actual button and this is the text. Now you can just command C, command V or control C, command V and you have the button ready. So now we just want to select the button and change the color. And let's move the text above. Oh, it's black, that's why, okay great so the footer part you can design it in figma and then design it on clavio but usually it is pre-designed for you uh, in clavio with your brand uh, information so it's easier to use the default one okay perfect so let me show you now how you can export this and we can implement it in clavio so when you select the whole frame you just come here and click s so you can choose the slicing tool and then you just want to create the slices. Remember that each slice can include just one link. So if you have separate products, for example, in the email, you want to have separate slices for these emails. Then let's select all the slices from here, click export. Let's change to JPEG, leave that at 1x 
and click export. The next step is to come in tinypng.com. It's a free software that optimizes our images so they can load faster when we send the actual email. As you can see, we are saving 83%. Let's download these, unzip, and now we are ready to start doing our welcome series in Klaviyo. First thing you want to make sure is to go into your pop-up or the sign-up form. I have a video about it. I will leave it here if you want to see how this is done. But uh, yeah, you want to go ahead here, click the button and see to which list you're sending the people from uh, the pop-up. So basically, once someone submits the form, they will be sent and stored in a list and you want to see which, which uh, is the list from here. So it's newsletter. So now let's go ahead in the flows, build your own, build your own. You can go with welcome series, create flow. And now we want to select our trigger. So this is the list that we just saw. So you want to have this as a trigger. So let's find it, add it to segment, add it to a list and choose newsletter. Then click save, confirm. Great, so when someone uh, is added to the newsletter, we will start this flow. So for the first email we want to send immediately, so we are not going to place a time delay. So uh, that means everyone who joins the, the newsletter will immediately receive this email here. So first thing you want to do from here is um, to unclick skip recently email profiles because for example if the person has been on our email list for for some reason uh, and we send them a campaign or uh, something else they won't receive the pop-up welcome series email so just make sure this is unchecked and then you can go ahead and select a template now you can just select whatever template you want we are going to delete anything so it doesn't really matter so now uh, let's uh, delete everything and leave the footer. Okay, great. So now we want to go ahead and add an image, but first let me just add a section. The section is hidden here. Okay, great. So now add an image and then select the image and upload all the slices that we tinyfied uh, with tinypng. Great, so now you're basically ready. You just need to set up the alt text plus the link address. Remember that you can uh, actually get a link, an automatic discount link from Shopify when you create the discount code there. You just need to choose select a shareable link and it will get you the, the discount or it's usually if you haven't changed anything and you are using the default uh, um, teams it will look like this your website.com slash discount slash welcome for example this will be the the discount code here but yeah just make sure to, to double check it within your Shopify so when you add all the the alt text and the links you'll be ready to send uh, a test email to your mobile device just to check if everything looks good check on desktop as well and you'll be ready then you have to click exit you need to name it so let's name it welcome series email one subject line preview text sender name send their email address then you're done check click done and this will be the first email as i said just make sure to uncheck this here and add utm trackings if you want to and then let's continue with the structure so now we we uh, already send them the first email so we need time delay it will be one day and now there is an interesting part here so we like adding a conditional split here and making two batch of people so the first one will be people who already opened email one and the second one we are going to duplicate email one and send it to the people who haven't opened it because it's important we are giving straight away the discount code and we want to make sure everyone receives that opens that and clicks on it so from here you want to choose what someone has done or not done then click open email add an additional filter from here choose message then 
place the name of the first email, Welcome Series Email 1, at least once since starting this flow and click Save. So this means that everyone who opened the email will continue here and when everyone who didn't open the email yet, the email one, will come here. So now we want to duplicate this one and then move it right here. Okay, great. So you can just create the different naming. So second chance and click save. Now you want to continue with email two, three and four here. So I'm not going to implement different emails. I'm just going to copy and paste these so I can show you how the structure is done. So from here, you want to rejoin these people here. So that means everyone who got the second chance email, the second chance em welcome email one, when they receive that, they will come and join the uh, second actual second email from the flow. One thing here, you want to add time delay here again. It will be another one day. And uh, perfect, we have one day here. We are sending that one, we are sending that one. So it's time for the third email of the flow. Another one day. And by the structure that I'm showing you today, it will be the end. So we are sending the last chance email for the discount here. And that's pretty much it. This is the structure for the welcome series. So um, I'm going to quickly explain it again because it's a little bit complicated. So whenever someone joins to, to the newsletter by the pop-up, by your welcome pop-up, they will immediately receive email one. Then we are going to wait for one day and we are going to split people into two different branches. The first, the yes people, if you choose the this filter exactly how it is here it will divide people who opened the first email and people who doesn't so the people who doesn't will receive the duplicate email so it will be a clone the same email of email one where we present the discount and then they will wait for one more day people who opened the email they'll receive email two and then these people will join after one day and they will return to the branch here. So after another day, we are going to send the last chance, which will end the flow. If you need any help creating these flows or any other email marketing campaigns, you can contact us and we can help you. Thank you so much for watching today and see you next time.